Hi. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Ashutos. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. Yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? How is your day going so far? Uh, pretty eventful, I would say. Have been taking sessions on and off, and uh, I'm planning to stand up for this session because I have been pretty sedentary today. All the sessions, you know, I sit down for long hours, so that's why. Okay. Uh, where's your hat? Uh, I really love the hat you wore la in the last session. Yeah, that's yeah, this one. Okay. Uh, do, do you want me to put on? No, no, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Today, I just noticed you're not wearing, but I really love the hat. I remember oh, back when I was a kid, I had a similar hat. Is it a Kashmiri hat, if I'm not wrong? Yes, it's basically I bought from Uttarakhand. Last year, I went to uh, Haritwa, so I bought from there. I like uh, it, even though I like this. Uh, basically, some people call it Kashmiri, Himachali, from the okay. like, you know, cool places in the mountains. So uh, they put on such kind of caps. Okay, okay. Do you put on and go out as well? Do you wear your cap and go out just out in the street? <laughs> uh, I don't go out too much, but nowadays I used to put, basically I like it, but going out, uh, basically I don't go out a lot, first thing. Rarely I go out. Yes, I go out for my lunch, for my dinner, that's it. So when I need to buy something, if it is necessary for me, then I would go out. Basically, I'm living here in the city alone. And mm -hmm. uh, so most of the time I, sp I spend here at my room only. Okay. In the last session, I didn't get to know much about you. But today, let's. Uh, I hope you won't mind if I ask some questions, right? Yeah, why right not? Now, even though I wanted to know that. something more about yourself too. Like how do you spend your day? How do you, uh, like, you know, live your life and what you do? Like, what is very important to you? That's what I wanted to know as well. Oh, okay. Right. Well, to answer your question briefly, then uh, I would say I have been an English trainer for three years now. And uh, for three years, I have been following my passion, something that I really love doing. And it's very rewarding at the same time. Okay, yeah. I took up English in my bachelor's, so I finished, I graduated with English, but I had a feeling to transition to a new subject, okay? So I, then I took up social work and human resources as my main line of work. After that, after completing my master's, uh, we hit this pandemic. Okay, we were hit by pandemic lockdown. And after that, mm -hmm. everything was, mm -hmm. everything came into shambles. And uh, I was disoriented about what I would do in the future. I did not know I had no plans, so I was in home. But at the time, I was working on my English. Okay, I knew that this was something that uh, if I don't practice or hone my skills, then I would land nowhere. Or I would land, yeah, nowhere, basically. And it was one of my inhibitions, I would say, because I uh, was I was pretty miserable back uh, in maybe let's if we go back to five years ago. I was quite pathetic in the language. I wanted to improve my own skills, and after that, one opportunity came my way to train people in English. And uh, since then, I have been working as an English trainer, and I have I think come come a long way. But I still do have uh, very far to go. I really want to see myself as one of the best trainers out there. Let's hope, fingers crossed. <laughs> so that has been my journey in, in a nutshell. Yeah. That's great. Of course, same for me. I Sorry? had uh, nothing in my mind related to this. Can you hear me? Am I audible to you? Yeah. I can hear you yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So I had nothing in my mind. It was not my goal ever, actually, that I would be a trainer. When I was, uh, when I was uh, there back at a school, I used uh -huh. to think that I would become everything except becoming a teacher or trainer. So uh -huh. yes, what I used to think that always uh, interacting with your students, they will come with a lot of questions and you have to answer. So because uh, teacher, like, you know, we and friends, they used to make fun of teachers as well there in the hostel. It was very common giving them some new names and that, that's how it is. So I wouldn't like that. So that's why, but yeah, the God has this plan. So, and that yeah, was a common student. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I was studying BCom honors accounting, okay? But what happened, this COVID came and I came back to my hometown and I started working on my communication skills. Then I thought, why not to continue and go forward with this English communication skills? I started my uh, YouTube channel. Period. 
and then started pursuing my master's in English literature. I wanted to have a degree. Basically, I'm not very much into literature. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know too much about it. But only I wanted to have a degree because it was my desire. But now I like people uh, and interaction with the people. That's what I do. So, and even though I want to follow this, so but what as you said, like you know, it was pretty same for both of us. We were in a different track, but uh, took a U turn. So, what about now? Sometimes do you think about the uh, transition or any change, or do you want any change in your life? Sometimes do you expect and a kind of uh, fierceness, monotonous, do you feel sometimes that, yeah, that I, I can do something else as well? Do you feel sometimes? Uh, interestingly, never. I've never had this feeling that I can do something. I never see myself doing anything else but for teaching English. And teaching is a kind of job that you learn a lot from, uh, your, from your students, from your learners, from people from different parts of the country. So um, it's a kind of a, uh, what do you call that? liberating for me it has been okay and i'm in the continuous process of learning and teaching and i think it should go forever i hope it does <laughs> yeah yes but uh, yeah i don't feel that it, it has become mundane yeah sorry and being a teacher and trainer that what kind of things you do till now to like you know improve yourself what have I done so far? Well, everything that's out there, people have been that recommending not. a lot what of you things. Do Sorry. Nowadays, nowadays, what what do you do uh, uh, apart from taking sessions? I think your days are busy. Can you hear me? Sometimes I feel like yes. you're not getting me busy. Uh, there's a bit of a network issue. Mm -hmm. Bit of a network issue, I guess. There's a delay in the voice. Is it oh, okay now? It's not good actually. I, I don't like this thing. Basically, communication means there shouldn't be any lag or it should ah. reach within a second. Okay, no problem. So if you can listen now. So what I was asking yeah, you yeah, that yeah. Oh, yeah. enhancing your knowledge or uh, when you get time, like, you know, as you said that you take a lot of sessions. Apart from this, what do you do? How do you spend your day nowadays? Well, for the past two days, I have been pretty occupied. I've been snowed under because uh, if you check my availability, then I decided to open 19 sessions yesterday, okay, and 14 of them got booked. So, you know, the time that I'm getting. And when I do get time, I just step out. I just go for a stroll because I want to, you know, just distance myself from digital devices. So that I just uh, go out and take a stroll. Did I answer your question or were you expecting a different answer? <laughs> and, and do you live with your family actually yes i do i do oh i've been actually, uh, yeah. when you live alone that you have to schedule your own 24 hours but as you are in, with your family sometimes you must be interacting with your family members and sitting with them is it do you do yeah that? i'll tell you about my routine so uh, i normally get up at around Depends, depends on the days. Uh, so it's mostly at around 7, 7.30, sometimes 6.30. I want to really step out to get fresh air in the morning. So I go for a walk. And if I don't have any sessions in the morning, I just step out for, spend a lot of time out in the nature. But I do get, get I do come back at around 9, 9.30 and I start taking sessions on and off. And my mom is there to help me out with breakfast meals and she prepares to keep the meal for me already. And, uh, so yeah, I manage time. So I make sure that I get around at least half an hour, one hour gap in between, in between sessions. And that's that. Uh, my sessions go all the way till 11. Today I have till 11, 11.30. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 11 p.m. Mm, okay. So do you go out alone means or with your, do you prefer with your friends? I don't have any friends over here. Uh, all of my friends are that's working cool. abroad. Yeah. All of them are. Out there, my good friend lives quite far mm, from my place, so it's uh, very difficult to, you know, meet. So, so very... when you go out, so what do you yeah. observe? Uh, like especially when you go to park or then in streets, when you stroll or roam around. So what do you observe? Do you see the like you know you want to sit under the tree or something like that? What what's that? No, no, I just go for a walk. I just I don't. I'm not very imaginative, but uh, I think I'm all you know consumed by my own thoughts when i go out i'm all consumed i'm thinking one thing or the other 
you know, about my future, about my past, about the sessions that I've taken, or what can I work of myself, things like that. Oh, so I okay, maybe kind of improvement. How can you add something? How can you add Sorry? more value in people? Sorry, I didn't get you. Could you come again? How always you are thinking that how can you add more value to people uh, yeah. and how can you improve yourself as a mm -hmm. trainer, tutor, as a person, right? Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do lately because I feel that uh, language in itself is uh, something you know that you can never stop working upon. And uh, at the same time, I want to work upon my teaching skills, really understand people and their plight, their concerns. You know, every day I meet so many people and they have their own concerns, their own inhibitions, apprehensions about their language and the confidence. So I wish I could. I wish I had a magic one. So, you know, once after they interact with me, they would be super fluent. So sometimes I think about that because it's, don't you think it's very crippling? A lot of Indian people are suffering and they're struggling in their career. They have hit this glass ceiling and not getting promoted or, uh, you know, want to go where they want to reach. So, yeah, exactly. They're struggling. But what I feel like it demands a lot of patience to improve. You can't improve overnight, uh, even though I have been helping people. But I think it's not something people, they want to become an expert in 15 days, 30 days, 45 days, as they see in advertisement. And that's not totally right. So I always tell them that, no, it's been four years for me. I try to improve. Uh, like, you know, still, uh, there is a, like, you know, a lot of things to and how can I give you a tip? Then you can improve in 15 days. No chance and no way. So yeah, I think people suffer. I, I want them to get sufficient mini, money to run their family or their life. But it's not practical, whatever you say it and whatever you think, because that is not something, a capsule, which I can give them and they can become fluent. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but with persistent efforts, you can reach maybe, if not in years, then a few work few months let's say if one dedicates or immerses himself in into learning the language then i think there's a possibility of having some level of comfort while communicating but again yeah that that's doesn't happen true. over a month and i always uh, assure them that if you are engrossed with the language that the uh, like you know time you wake up and the time you sleep if you uh -huh. are like, you know, engrossed with the language, watching, listening, reading, for sure, you'll be able to make improvements. That's the like, you know, guarantee I'm going to give them. But if they want to become fluent in 15 days, I can't give them guarantee. So that's the thing I understood, uh, like, you know, as a language learner. Yeah. Now you can ask questions if you have, like, as you said, you have questions. Yeah. You told me that you only head out for your meals for lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. So oh, are you just all on your own right now at the moment? Yes, <laughs> my village is 60 kilometer uh, from here. I'm uh -huh. from a village. Uh, my parents and my family is living there, but I'm living here in the city. So I'm alone. I'm all alone. I could. I, I used to live with one event, okay, to another city. Mm -hmm. So now I'm alone. So I don't prefer going out a lot, not at all, really. Only I say it for two times like for the lunch and dinner. And sometimes I would go for buying something which is necessary for me. So as you said, like there is no part of uh, this, uh, just what I can say that tediousness in your life because you are there with your family. So whenever you feel a little monotonous, you can go out and sit and talk. But for me, that's not an option. Always, even though if I want to interact with somebody through the phone, so right? So uh -huh. taking sessions through phone, editing through phone, okay? everything making thumbnails and doing everything watching content video sometimes i read book okay i i told you like even though before taking your session i was reading that english copy of Bhagavad gita that's what okay. i do it i i try to inculcate that habit reading the through the hard pages uh, the page hard copies but it's uh -huh. difficult so apart from this nothing is special what what can i do everything from the phone conversation when i go out people are strangers to me and they don't talk what I want to actually. So I don't like the topics uh, most of the time they converse, right? Something general, I don't really like it talking about all the material things and sometimes uh, like, you know, gossip and talking about some other people, like some events and breaking them.
Okay. What do you like talking about then? Something very special. First improvements in life, serious things about the like you know life, like what we can make improvements, what's next, how we can become better in our profession, and as a person, how can we become content, satisfied, calm, composed. Being a lot of power. And that's what we in the last session also we I said like I'm very fascinated towards the spirituality. So I want a balance between the material and spiritual things both. Okay. And how long have you been in this line? For, for example, you started gravitating towards spirituality in, in one way or the other. How long has it been? Uh, I, when it comes to my family, of course, I am from a Brahmin family. So always okay. worship has been there. The term puja and many things were there. And when I was a child, I, was, I used to collect a lot of pictures of Lord. Whenever I would see anywhere on the streets, I would come and put that in my pocket. So I had wow, a really? of like, yeah. yes, exactly. I still remember. I was very much into it. I used to keep fast. But what happened when I became a student of hostel, Jawar Navode Vidyalaya. So when I was following all those things, it was little strange for other students who were coming from the different uh, family backgrounds. They would look at me like what's new he is doing what <laughs> like you know so then it became very difficult i shared with my mom and uh, she said don't do it there because it's hostile and the people they wouldn't be able to like you know digest it or somewhat they would not be able to understand what you do uh, they would find it very fascinating in, indeed isn't it exactly for them it's something new a child and doing it, something like that they so that's why like that so then I left and it was difficult, becoming difficult for me in the hostel to follow all those things. So then I left. But when uh, again, when I came back in the COVID-19, COVID was the period when again I started inclining all those things. And when I was in last year, when I was in another part of the city, I used to feel like you know monotony, tediousness. Sometimes I would be really an anxious like what next okay i can do a lot of sessions editing getting the subscribers but that's not everything okay mm -hmm. there is something beyond money okay money mm -hmm. will it, it's kind of 20 40 60 80 you can get but i don't feel like money can give you things money you can buy things from money but that can't give you happiness satisfaction good relation good people for that you need to become a better person better human being with your personality, like being polite, being humble, helping others, uh, being true. But in this materialistic world, now you see this is the age of Kali. People, most of the time they speak like, you know, uh, they try to cheat people. Even though if you go out for a rickshaw and the distance from one place to another is only two kilometers, but he'll say it's five kilometers and he'll go round, round and he will. So that was not a digestible thing for me. So last year, then I visited, I used to visit Skon Temple as a visitor, but then I had a conversation with one of the monks there and I shared all those things, like what is happening around and what is what are the philosophies that why people think they should worship after 60, they should be go into it. He said, that's totally wrong. Who knows that you will be old? There is any certainty that you will be old? Maybe you, you will get, uh, you will match the death in early age. So you should do at this, uh, like we think we should do at an old age when basically your senses are imperfect. And at that age, nothing works. Even though you are not able to see properly, you are not able to hear properly, then you think like you should serve for the Lord and you should go for it. So it's better to do from now onwards, make a balance. Then I started visiting frequently and uh, I kept classes there. Sometimes they tell a lot of fascinating things, philosophies and wonderful, like, you know, the activities are done by the Lord, uh, the Krishna. So they uh -huh. are based on the, the so that, that makes me really happy. But then also sometimes what happens, making a balance, it becomes really difficult. When, as you said, like nowadays you are very much into sessions, okay? What happens with me specifically? That if I'll take sessions for seven or eight or ten days, whole day, maybe I'll be busy. But then I will start feeling like this is the life. Am is this I, life? <laughs> yeah. yeah, is this life or just an only working, working, not even getting time to have conversation with the family members or friends. So, like, what is like you know, what is the meaning? What is meaning actually? 
so that is the thing it happens uh, with me sometimes and when i'm not working then i feel am i doing something worth or <laughs> am i significant enough like you know significant enough uh, to lead a wonderful life so yeah. this happens with me so i don't know what's your perspective on this no it so, does yes you have yeah. never been uh, alone have you ever been alone in that sense living out and working working for uh, yes i have back when i was uh, pursuing my masters i lived alone for a year in the first year itself uh, i had a roommate but after that once he left i was alone so sometimes yeah but uh, more often than not i am always consumed by my own thoughts okay mm-hmm. i would get all fidgety about my future but yeah this uh, refuge to spirituality can be uh, can be quite complex at some time because at some point but still um, you know you if you are able to if you are able to just connect with that higher power right you will at least have a, a feeling that you are being accompanied by someone or something any entity so it's a uh, quite difficult to understand very incomprehensible yeah, nowadays i don't feel uh, lonely or anything actually i'm very much into it that that thing is not there which was there before but when you work a lot and and then i feel like you know you're working and sometimes i feel like i spend my 24 hours basically i don't go for the job and i don't go to college every day so uh-huh. no proper i have to schedule my day for myself and the manager then sometimes uh-huh. i think like where i like you know am i spending my time or i have done only few sessions few editing uh, like you know like little bit editing then 24 hours flew okay and <laughs> that that's a difficult part sometimes nowadays not the uh, like you know i don't feel not in this lonely and something but sometimes feel like you know like how 24 hours are going but i'm not able to do something very important Crucial. will you be able to walk me through your routine your morning to evening routine how does it look like in your life okay uh-huh i wake up at uh, 7 almost 7 715 most of the uh-huh. time okay then uh, like after that i have a class that i start my day with a spiritual class that's all about sometimes ramayan and sometimes like this uh, bhagavad gita okay so then 8 8:15 okay almost for 45 minutes that, then what i do now this i'll uh, brush my teeth okay and after brushing my teeth i'll look for the bathroom it is if it is vacant then i'll take shower i'll get ready and fresh like you know freshen up then i'll take shower then it becomes almost 9 9:15 9:15 sometimes 9:30 and then i do i chant okay i chant so that that is for the peace of the mind and i like it it helps and that's good so i chant almost now it is uh, recently i started doing that it takes almost hour and half for me so when i finish that it becomes 11 or 11:30 then i scroll or maybe if i have to do some conversation i'll do important thing to do then 12 lunch i go out for my lunch and after lunch i come back sometimes i do communicate with my mother sometimes my relatives my sister and then again i schedule few sessions like few english shari maybe the clapping or my own sessions if i want to help somebody with the subscribers or my own students sometimes so that's that's what the thing is then i do then it becomes 7 7:30 or 8 maybe then dinner i go dinner at uh, sometimes at 7:30 sometimes nowadays i go at 7:30 then i come back again i read i read uh, books okay and again i do something special like editing or i will put the description and title and many things everything is not certain in 24 hours i can say that i can't tell you everything what happens every day but that's how i spend and i sleep at 11 so yeah that's how my day is 11 to 7 that's i sleep okay yeah seven days a week it looks like that weekends saturday uh, basically i spend my saturday doing the same things means doing a lot of sessions and uh, if it is important to go out i go and if it is any like an appointment for the doctor maybe i'm under the treat basically i'm under the treatment for the year so sometimes i go for that and uh, sunday i go out for the temple i visit if uh, like you know 15 uh, once in a 15 days or maybe week like on weekends so i visit there i i same process i'll do 
then at 11 or 12 i leave after taking my lunch i'll go there and i'll be back at 8 or like 7 30 and there it's really positive vibes the devotees and the great kirtan so dancing chanting everything service and see like a beautiful and delicious prashadam so that that's how sundays are yeah but it changes sometimes okay I'm sure that it's uh, very interesting to visit these temples that you visit normally. Right? Yes, uh, I, I visit you... a Skon temple, Kanpur. Skon, uh, yeah. it's, it's there in my city. So they have a great schedule of doing things, Aarti and like in a perfect time, 6 30, 7 days, or so that's how it is. And it's very nice to be there and talking about all the positive things and the activities of the Lord. So discussing many things related to scriptures so we get more knowledge about um, spiritual things okay you mentioned that you rarely go to your college uh, haven't you found any like-minded people over there and you can get along with easily and accompany you in this to these temples basically i was a student of banaras in the university okay uh -huh. so there yeah students were good but unfortunately i was not able to spend a lot of time with them as you said like your friends are not there for you i have friends but they are working nowadays everybody is working for their career right so nowadays in masters i'm not very interested to go to college because i'm not in a very central university when you go to big universities like jnu and uh, bhu there you find really good people of your like <laughs> like you know like-minded what you say but here I don't go to college. I am studying from the local actually, from my hometown. So it's it's far. And I already told them my situation that I do something. So I wouldn't be able to go to college. Already I told you that I wanted to have a degree and that's not very deep. So only I visit sometimes, like, you know, rarely when I go back my home and when I have to give exams, I prepare and I go for exams. Yeah, what motivated you to take up English literature? You are studying right now, isn't it? yes i want i i'm telling you that i wanted to have a degree in english basically i was a commerce student but a little change that if i would go for the masters of commerce that uh -huh. wouldn't uh, basically i would i had no idea to go for the professor or phd thing because masters then it is compulsory for you to go for something like phd ugc test then PhD, then you will get the profession. So it's a long process. So I uh -huh. wanted to do something like self-independent. I wanted to become a little earlier. That's why I had chosen this master's degree. Along with that, I'm doing this, which I enjoy, interaction, YouTube, and that's how I do it, exploration. Okay, 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 all right. And uh, uh, how many months to go till you complete your master's? Yeah, it will after like, you know, three to four months, maybe like in, uh, mid of the 2024 i'll be post graduated then i'll i think i'll stop my studies okay you can it's okay all right well i have a lot of questions once again related to your masters but uh i think uh, we are almost at the end of our session i didn't no, even no, realize of course you have asking. another session as you said oh, yes, you have till 11 p.m right yes you have another session right now uh -huh. so uh okay. i'll take your leave for now but uh I look forward to seeing you in the future once again. Yeah. All the okay. best and keep Until taking then, all the and keep enjoying right. if you enjoy it, Thank you. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Bye bye. Take care. Yeah, bye.